Good morning, friends. So today's um, Wednesday podcast uh, on Thursday morning uh, is going to be a little bit different. Um, something that I was hoping would have come yesterday to help me film the podcast did not come. So um, instead, hey, Sadie, can you, Sadie, okay. Um, sorry, dog decided to drink water really loud right beside me. <laughs> um, so instead, um, the, the clip of Monday mail call that I was going to put in the um, podcast, I'm going to go ahead and release like by itself so you guys can see the fun stuff I got. I'll still put it in the podcast because, you know, I want to um, play with my new toy. So um, what this is, is just a, a mail call, well not just, but it's, it's a, a mail call um, for some fun stuff that I got this week. And, um, and then that's going to be, um, my morning, uh, video. Hopefully I'll get, um, the actual podcast out this evening because word on the streets is, um, FedEx should be here by two o'clock today. So we'll see. All right. Exciting. Hope you guys enjoy the mail call. Um, and I will hop on to say bye because the mail call, my phone battery died like a weird place right at the end. So I'll <laughs> come and say goodbye to everybody. All right. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, um, it is Mail Call Tuesday because Mail Call Monday was a holiday. I hope everybody had a great holiday Monday that you got to spend some time with friends and family mem um, remembering the reason for the day. Um, I know most if not all of us have folks who are, are, have been, or were in the armed services and family members who have lost their lives within uh, being in armed services um, during either wars or what have you. So um, I hope you were able to spend some time and share some stories about those loved ones. We are gonna dig into mail call. I got um, some stuff from Meadow Mist today, which I know is the two charm book that Meadow Mist just came out with where it's um, quilts with using only two charm packs. There we go. And let's see, let's see. I got a couple. Um, there was a special deal. If you got the book, you could pick two patterns. So I got this Olive and Hazel, which I think I've seen people do. I'm sure I've seen people do because it's so familiar. So I like that a lot. And I like the Sea Star. So the Sea Star is definitely one of those patterns um, that I picked because I liked the colors so much. So I was definitely um, driven by the colors that they used on why I picked it. But I'm excited about it. So again, from Cheryl... Ooh, look at the packaging on the book. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to rip it. Oh, well, it's already ripped on the side, so I guess I don't have to be precious about it. There we go. 16 new charm pack quilts in two colorways. Just two charm pack quilts. Slash your stash. Make 16 throws. So, oh, look at the fishies. More fishies. These are gonna be cute. I'm excited about these because I have charm packs and then some. <laughs> Got plenty of charm packs to use. So I'm excited about this book. I'm excited about the two patterns. This one I really like because I like optical illusion knee patterns. Um, so I'm excited about those. Yay. And then the next thing I got was a mystery box from the Yvette Renee, who is with Piecing It Real. And let's see. What do I have over here that I can use to do? All right. Y'all, no making judgments. The girl's got to do what the girl's got to do. And I'm using these scissors right here. To break in. Two. Ooh. If 
if I was a planner of any sort, well, I usually am kind of a planner, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, I'm like, oh, let's just get to it. I just want to dig in. There we go. I would do this before I started recording, but it is what it is. Very pretty blue paper. My sticker. You hear the dog whining in the background because she's a pain in the tush. Ooh, look at these colors. Exciting. Oh, I like this one. Oh, look how pretty. Cinnamon and Cream by Fig Tree. Pretty. All right, let's see. What, what do we get? Oh, I like all the blues. Oh, I like all the blues. It's like someone new. Look at the blues that would look cool in here. Oh, I'm going to have to... What does this, what does this ask for? For a twin is 15 fat quarters. I can definitely pull fat quarters out of these blues for sure. So let's take a look at what we have. Oh, look at the houses. If you know the lines, let me know. I won't most likely know the lines that they are, but that's really pretty. I like that. Oh, I love koala. Look at the koalas. More koala. Aw, mama and baby. Oh, I love this one. This could definitely go in that that blues. This, I feel like, there's another one, I think, yeah. So we got, we got two of this, so I got plenty of fabric for this blue, which, is, that's a nice blender blue, so that's cool. That'll work. And is this, oh, this is wintry. Not Christmassy specifically, but definitely wintry. Very pretty. I like that. That's the, oh, buggers. The crocheted stuff. What it, uh, I can't remember what it is. But I've seen it. I know it. What is this? Oh, well, oh, look. Yeah, Allison Glass. I've seen this. Some folks have used this in the trinket quilt that's going on right now. Some thatched, which is one of my favorite basics. That's a pretty blue. Little crosses. That's pretty. All right, I'm going to move this, this batch to the side. There we go. A couple of... Are these thatched? Yeah, those are... That's a cool color combination. That's that is a 70s retro shag rug orange couch. Totally. Oh, I love that. I want to do something with that color combination right there. That's so awesome. This is the um Libs Elliot uh was it phosphor? Yeah, phosphor. Awesome. That's incredible. I like that a lot. This is pretty. I like that. Ooh. Little berry. I like those flowers. <laughs> cool Halloween skulls. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the little astronaut animals. So sweet. This is cool. This is like a linen. That's nice. Mm, some very, very sassy ladies in their little hats, berets, and Sunday hats. This is cool. On bikes and with their dogs. Oh, I like. I like these uh, <laughs> donutty. See, I'm really bad at remembering, but I know I've seen these before. I just don't know where I've seen them. What collection do I have enough of the... Hmm, no, oval elements, I think that's what it says. I'm guessing based on what little bit I could see. So there's them. And then that's pretty. I want a Vespa. 
Oh, I like these a lot. That's very cool. Beachy. Flip-flops, ocean, beach. I love the sound of the beach. I hate sand, though. Oh, there's some more of that crochet. Like, doily thing. Oh, that's such a good color. I love that color. There we go. It's a good orange. I like that. Oh, this is... This one looks like a solid. Yeah, that's a good... It's like a greeny blue. It's something more blue in the camera, but it's definitely more green here in front of me. Some fruits, fruit salad going on right there. And this is a this is a free spirit one, right? Is it tool or is it just free spirit? What do I remember? Oh, daydreamer. Okay. Nice. I like that too. Yay! So that's today's mail call. I also got some more um bobbins. Uh Monopoly, <laughs> or you can read it Monopoly, Monopoly thread, um, because I adore sewing with this stuff. So I got some more bobbins, pre-filled bobbins, because those are impossible to fill yourself. Getting the tension correct is a madman's dream. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, if you have made either of those... Um, patterns, the um, hazel and olive or olive and hazel um, or the sea star, let me know. Let me um, tell me like what kind of what patterns or what fabrics you used. Let me know how you enjoyed it or are there any pitfalls that you found. Do you all did you also get the new um, just two charm packs book? Let me know that too. Uh, and how about all that fabric? Holy cow. I'm so excited. Um, I have no idea, uh, you know, we just get fabric because it's fabric and we want to pet it and, and then make it look nice. Um, so I, I don't have any like right now plans, though I really do think some of those blues could really go into the, the Sea Star um, pattern. I think that would be cool. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you have an awesome Thursday. And I, fingers crossed, we'll be back with the podcast um, showing off some new skills. So we'll see. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I look forward to seeing you all um, Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, and thanks for folks that are like leaving comments and helping me, um, you know, remember to say things like Eastern because obviously time zones are important when you're trying to plan out what you're going to be watching. So I really appreciate that. Helps me keep on track. Um, so um, if I don't get the podcast done tonight, it'll be done and out um, tomorrow morning. Uh, it just depends on how long it takes to edit and then how long YouTube takes to actually upload and process and all that kind of stuff. I've, I've found that that is a slow and tedious task. <laughs> all right, everybody have a great time. I will talk to you all very soon and thank you so much. Um, if you have liked hanging out with me, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like, bu like button especially it's really important and I appreciate it so much. Um, all right, enough yammering. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.